Apex 185 bunkhouse at a very aggressive 2,925 pounds here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, one of the smallest, if not the very smallest member of Coachman's lightweight lineup. And this is a updated late 17 model with all the current trends and things at the time of this filming. Um, if you see, the easiest way to tell that this is a late season model is first of all, it has this like, almost looks like three dimensional graphics package. It looks like it's being projected off the nose, which is sweet. But you see kind of the little accented nose uh, coloration here. Um, it gives it a little bit of that look and feel of something like a nose cap, but without the extra weight and cost of a nose cap. It just looks awesome. You'll see the rear wall that way too. Kind of makes it look like it's moving fast even when it's sitting still. Um, every RV does something better than something else. I'm gonna point out the areas where I think the little Apex Nano series is best in class in various ways and let you be the judge. If you like what you see, give us a call. We only do everything, hitches, pieces, parts, financing, trucks and trades and package deals and everything in between. So this is narrow body, seven and a half foot wide, so it's not wider than your vehicle. You're not gonna get quite that brutal headwind when you get passed by a semi. They're also pretty low height overall so that you uh, you know get an easy slipstream going down the road. In this class, you don't usually get integrated A-frames. That's a little bit uh, structurally superior item there. In this class, you don't usually get, at least not consistently, um, UV tinted airflow windows. Some brands will give you windows that are tinted. Some will give you uh, some that open for airflow. Not all of them will give you both in one trailer. You don't usually get a big pass-through baggage compartment like this one. You see you've got the big full 30-inch uh, wide baggage doors and it actually opens up wider once you get inside there. So you've got some very good storage here. If you want to bring along the folding picnic tables or uh, some you know zero gravity folding chairs, some nice chairs. You don't, you're not relegated to just bag chairs. In this class, you don't usually get sealed hinge baggage doors so that water doesn't creep into there and uh, spring uh, the uh, the hinge, basically. You ever been in an old campground when somebody opened this door is like, screech, the whole time? Well, that's because this hinge is all screwed up and wonky and you don't have to worry about that now. Best in class water tank capacities, 30, 30, 30, 30 gallon fresh uh, gray and waste. And that may not seem huge, but you gotta understand, this is a little camper. There's not the physical space for 90 gallon tanks. Many trailers in this size and category have something like 15, 16 gallon tanks. So this is uh, double what a lot of them can even begin to offer. I like that little storage pocket below the uh, rear bunks too, just nice little touches like that. Um, better grade tires, you know, just instead of bias plies, we've got nicer radials. We've also got a nicer power awning on here. Uh, so you, you know, push of one button, you get some patio shade, and this is super cool. They have, um, let me flip on the switch so you can actually see it. Why, why am I doing a video if I'm not gonna show you? So your speakers, have these cool little blue LED accent lights, and you'll see that matched up here under the awning. And now you can see the reflectivity of that skin. It'll make your whole campsite just kind of glow at night. And especially against the, the already kind of blue-hued accented trailer skin, you're, it just looks awesome out here. And people walk by, and they're like, what is going on over there? And they want to come and check it out. Now, one of the things they do absolutely different from absolutely everybody is the Asdell substrate under the skin. Those words mean below the fiberglass you have this white material called Asdel. It's a composite resin. It's primarily melted pop bottles. It's lighter than Luon. Um, it is water repellent, not absorbent. Um, the wood used in construction is a water-starved material, so if exposed to water at any point, it just wants to suck it right up like a sponge. This stuff is the opposite. So, to get your skin to delaminate, it's not impossible, it is darn hard. By the time your skin delaminates on an apex, it, basically your, your coach is probably already totaled out for other reasons. Um, it also has superior insulative qualities. So this little inch and a half ultralight wall has a, uh, a two inch standard wall insulated factor. And we have a strutted entry door so that on a breezy day like today, you see that it catches it and doesn't slam against the awning and the kids can't fling it open. A lot of trailers in this class also have a single step. This having a double is a nice feature. Nitro fill tires too, that's something I don't talk about much. I've never necessarily seen superior performance one uh, to the other, but in theory, a nitrogen filled tire should hold its pressure longer, especially if you're going through hot cold scenarios. Now, um, the fit and the finish, their cabinetry and everything is just absolutely stellar. There's just never gaps 
in their construction and we just we don't have apex quality um, control problems that's one of the things I like about them this is called the uh, espresso decor because everybody has to have something named after coffee and that's theirs uh, there's different interiors the one that we have in stock could look different from that in terms of fabrics but this is pretty much how we're gonna bring them in we like to bring these things in with the bigger air conditioner to give you better airflow and with a fully laminated roof think of it like um Oh, uh, like a like a beer cooler, actually. You know, a, a lot of coolers are just packed with a high-density foam. Well, that's exactly what this is. The goal is to keep the cold air in here and the hot air out there, or vice versa. Uh, speaking of which, we have added a propane furnace to this as part of the comfort package. That's uh, that and I think the water heater and a couple other things go into that. So again, there's some optional stuff here. This is pretty much how we build them, though. That's an app-enabled stereo. You can get the, I think it's called the J-Control app for an Android or iPhone and turn your phone into a Bluetooth wireless remote for this thing, which is cool, Bluetooth uh, stereo system. Your cabinetry is um, pocket screwed together, not stapled, which is uncommon at this size, class, and price point. Um, and they also give you nice big deep cabinets, which is slick. We've got all LED lights and we have a double arched roof in here, arched inside and outside for structural stability and it just opens it up in here another couple inches, feels nice and spacious. They did something really cool here. You know, a lot of camper, this is a very common floor plan, super, super common floor plan, but they added just this little headboard over here with some tuck uh, in their storage, you know, a little place where mom and dad can keep some things or an alarm clock or phone charger up on that shelf. Handy, nice stuff. Maybe, I don't know, it depends on the size, but uh, a CPAP machine. They are making newer, smaller, travel-friendly CPAPs, by the way. You should look into that. You know, you want to see how something's built, start opening stuff up. You're going to see where you see wood. It's going to be plywood. Um, the, uh, you know, structures, all aluminum. We already talked about the Asdell. It's built to last, guys. You want to throw a TV in? You're perfect to do so up here because they laminate into the wall an aluminum plate to uh, anchor into. Now, whether it's the tabletop um, or the uh, kitchen countertop, you've got all solid uh, pressed membrane countertops in here. They're waterproof. There's there's no seams where water can, can sneak in here effectively. That's really nice around a water source, like the sink where you're splashing or by, right here by your dining table where you can spill a drink, or even if you don't, a drink can condensate and sweat. People often go, why do they have the, the goofy, not symmetrical sink? And that's because these little campers tend to be very popular for dry camping. So the what I call the vegetable sink over here, this is what you're gonna use when you're dry camping so that you sip your water tank, you don't gulp it. When you are hooked up to park water, blast it full, man, have a good time. Now. Something they did that I really like is instead of mount the microwave up here where the kids can't really reach it, they put the microwave down here where the kids can get to it themselves and it's safer and easier for them to use. That allowed for additional overhead storage space and you didn't really lose anything below because a lot of brands will put an oven there that nobody uses anyway. So, that you know, it's just a win-win-win. Plus, you've got ugh, good storage down here. Those, those hinges are still fighting me, brand new. Good storage down there for big stuff. And something else I like is you've got this big combination closet pantry space right next to the bathroom right here that you can pretty much do anything you ever wanted with. Um, gas and electric refrigerator. Uh, a lot of campers have a smaller fridge like this. It's enough to get you through a weekend. You don't need much more than that. And there is a freezer pocket in there. I do like, by the way, though, a foot flush stool versus a, uh, a common um, centrifugal flush that has the, the handle in the back. You have to put your face right next to the stool to use it. Nobody enjoys that. Um, it sounds silly also, but a medicine cabinet here in this little bathroom, little campers like this usually just have a mirror on the wall, if anything. And big deal, a medicine cabinet, you're thinking, well, where, where are you going to where are you gonna put your stuff, if not here? You know, where are you going to put your stuff? You need something like this. It's nice that they include that. They do have a vent fan. They do have the uh, shower skylight. And I was asking the folks at Coachman, you know, you've done so many things so nice. Like you went with a little bit bigger tub instead of a little corner shower that nobody fits in. Why didn't you finish this off with wall paneling? And they actually, they gave me some really good information that's making me rethink uh, the wall panel situation in, in bathrooms. I'm not 100% there, but I'm, I'm thinking, I'm getting close. Well, the way they looked at it is... This thing flexes. This whole trailer flexes constantly. And those panels, they're put against the wall, and then they put a bead of sealant at the top to keep the water from getting in. But over time, as it flexes, that seal will eventually give way. Most people don't check that seal, and that's true. I, you know, now that they say about it, I never checked mine. But 
So you've got water splashing around. You've got an area where water could penetrate behind a wall panel and get hugged into this. And then it's just going to sit there and mold up. And I thought, you know, that's actually true. So the idea behind this is after you take a shower, you take your towel, you wipe down the wall real quick, you're fine. Provided you do that, it should never fail on you. That's the idea. And I, I, that skylight's really doing a good job in here. Overall, I'm a big fan. They've done an excellent job in here. Oh, you know, I didn't even talk about the bunks. I mean, they're, they're bunks. There's not much to say. I do like that each kid gets their own little light, though. That is a nice little touch. Remember, there is storage below that bunk. Um, it's a carpetless, easy cleaning, super reliable brand of camper. We just don't have Apex problems. So, um, if the idea of family camping without problems sounds fun, then again, give us a call. We've already gone out of our way to give you this kind of tour and information. Imagine what you'll uh, get, you know, once we've actually had a chance to meet you. 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.